Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to cover our little interview experience. So first of all, uh, let me give you a quick idea about this video. So I have invited Ankit on my YouTube channel. He has recently joined Walmart. Before this, he was working in Infosys. So in this video, we'll be getting an opportunity to know more about his journey, how he uh, converted from service-based company to product-based company, what was the preparation strategy he followed. We'll be knowing all this in the video. So make sure to watch the complete video. But before proceeding further, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel, then guys do consider subscribing my channel and make sure to join our telegram community as well. So yeah, Ankit, I believe that's all from my side. You can start with your introduction. Sure, Shama. Yeah. First of all, thank you for inviting me on your YouTube channel. So I find this YouTube is a very good platform to guide people in a uh, mass base. So yeah, thanks again for that. So as per my introduction, I started my professional career in 2018 after completing my BTEC from CSE. So I started my journey with Infosys. So there I joined as system engineer and then gradually I switched uh, to spaceless programmer that uh, with the internal program, which is known as this program in Infosys. And then last year, uh, um, yeah, so that happened last year. And th from this April, I switched to Walmart. So this is the whole journey uh, as professionally I followed till now. Okay, okay. Uh, so can we know like how you got this opportunity for Walmart? Like right? you applied to career portal or you took some different? Yeah, so the thing is like I started preparing or applying or looking for opportunities outside in forces from uh, December, mid, mid of December. So I started from Nokri.com. So there, like I got multiple calls from service-based firms. And then gradually uh, when I got some offers, then I applied, like started applying through career portals for all these product-based firms. So yeah, it was always in my mind that I'll have to switch to product-based. So that's why like, and, and I think uh, that's the best way to approach uh, any product based firm or any even service based firm to apply to their career portals. Mm -hmm. the referral is always better, but yeah, if you don't get a proper referral, then you can always go for career portal. And career portal websites, they really check, like the companies really check because they got to know, okay, this person has come to our website to apply. So it has some interest on uh, with our company. So that's why those. Uh, if your resume is good, your your profile is good, then you your profile will definitely be picked up. So this opportunity uh, in Walmart, I also got from Carrier Portal. Okay, okay. Uh, so can you just let us know about the rounds that you have been through for this profile? Yeah. So as a whole, there are five rounds. So including like HR for me, it was total of five rounds. So the first one was online assessment. So there we got two questions and we had to solve it in one and a half hours. So the level was, I can say it was um, medium to hard. Okay. So in online assessment, we usually get, I think the same level. So medium to hard in all of the forms. Then uh, once you clear that, then I got to um, appear for a one-to-one -one interview. That is a video interview. And that first round, um, I mean, after online, online assessment, the first round was problem solving. So there you straight away get uh, two problems and uh, that you have to solve like one by one and that you have to solve within one hour while discussing with the interviewer your approach and then complexity and on. So, yeah, like usual any problem solving interview. Mm -hmm. And then another round was, uh, another round was uh, that and um, we have it actually actually in Walmart, that DSA round, but that didn't happen for me. So it's another problem solving, you can say, but uh, it depends on interviewer. So that uh, there you can get uh, some DSA scenario based questions as well. So these are the like two main, uh, you're checking your programming skills. And then another one, then third uh, round will be system design. So for software engineer three position, they usually ask low level design. Okay. So in low level design, uh, you know, like you have to, uh, you will be given a scenario and uh, based on that, you have to design class and then API, then database. So these all will happen in low level design. 
and if you are appearing for higher position i mean senior software engineer or product manager then you will be getting high level design questions so that's the system design and then another round was hiring manager round so that we cannot say it's a typical hiring manager round which we see in service based it's fully i can say like technical round even uh, it's more like techno manager round so there you will be getting questions about like uh, whatever you have done in your current project in your previous company what kind of like difficulty you have faced and how you resolve it so these kind of questions you might get in that round and yeah so uh, in some manager round you might get problem solving questions as well so it totally depends on the manager or the kind of work you are going to uh, do in that form okay so that's the hiring manager and the last round was uh, hr like uh, hi, uh, hr round yeah mm -hmm. so these are the like rounds as a whole okay i must say that you have explained very well uh, so while i was listening to you i came to know that there were two main things that were important for this interview and for the opportunity even for walmart that is your dsa um, your problem solving and your system design right so can you discuss the resources that you followed for the preparation of uh, dsa as well as system design yeah yeah sure okay so before that first of all i want to say ki, like for any product based firm if you are looking mm -hmm. at any level i mean even at uh, i think even at senior software engineer or like um, that starting managerial positions as well you will have to go through the dsa question or the round i mean problem solving round so at any level if you want to switch from service based to product based then you must have to practice problem solving there is no other way so i don't see any other way in my experience okay so that is the first thing so coming to resources so the first one is like uh, for dsa like data structure and alg algorithm so there are i think two kind of people one is like who practice little bit like not consistently mm -hmm. and uh, they have some idea about data structures and they also have done some uh, problem solving on like multiple platforms but not consistently mm -hmm. so that's one thing uh, and another is like uh, who have not done anything like any uh, problem solving uh, stuff so both of the, like for both people we we have to like follow different approaches. for me like it was the first case i do like little bit but not consistently but when i started uh, from uh, december like uh, looking out for the companies then i started uh, doing it consistently so for problem solving i followed lead code so only one platform i followed uh, there are many so you can follow anyone so anyone is better good but uh, in my view lead code is good because there you get uh, you will be able to compare your solution with others who who are like faster than yourself so for uh, like practice i followed that and then um, for articles like uh, if you have some confusion about some topic then i followed geek for gigs mm -hmm. and uh, to like start or to understand the uh, different topics i followed some youtube channels like uh, one i can recall is adit verma is a software engineer in flipkart i'm not sure currently where he is but yeah the, at the time of video so he has uh, on his channel uh, the name of channel is itself adit verma mm -hmm. so uh, that you will find multiple playlists like uh, stacks or over the like stacks then uh, uh, on dp so that you can follow and uh, he like very well explain the questions like uh, the frequent questions which you might get and the process how you should think how to relate so that was very helpful similarly for different topics i like follow different uh, youtube playlists so yeah for the resources uh, point of view for data structure i followed youtube only and i think for anyone if you want to learn any data structure then you can simply search that just type the data structure name with kind of like coding or programming you'll get multiple playlists so just look over four or five like three four one 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 video and who uh, whatever like you like uh, anyone you can follow so that's the approach we all should follow so that's about the dsa and for uh, 
uh, system design. So I had practiced high level design also because uh, you are not sure at any position like you might get some uh, high level design questions as well. I got in Oracle that high level design question. So for high level design to start, you can follow a channel pseudo code. So there is a channel. It, it's a very good channel. You will buy, uh, find around 27, 28, I guess, videos uh, on that playlist. So if you go through those that video, like that playlist thoroughly, you will have a very good idea on high level design. If you get some question on high level, I, I make sure like you won't be kind of silent. You will be able to speak something about that question. So that's about high level. And for low level, you will find some uh, questions like which is generally asked in uh, interviews. So you can pick four or five uh, and you just uh, you can search uh, any article on Google or uh, YouTube videos you'll also get. So just practice those four or five questions and uh, you'll be able to solve uh, any uh, similar question or any new question you get yeah the thing is like you uh, should not be a kind of beginner you have some idea if you have some idea about software engineering designing classes what uh, we call api what are tables then you'll be able to uh, solve it just after seeing four or five videos okay so these are the preparation strategy i followed yeah and i can say that the main thing is like motivation and guidance so if you have uh, some people in your contact, I mean, direct contact who, to whom you can talk uh, easily or you can discuss anything, then just call them and ask what they followed, how they followed, how they keep themselves motivated. So that is, I think, the better way uh, to like keep ourselves motivated because that is indirect to you. So that's the approach I followed, yeah. Understood. And I also believe the last line that you mentioned that if you have someone in your contact, those who are already in these companies and they can help you also, yeah, that could be an advantage, obviously, for sure. Um, yeah. Right. So I understood everything. Um, just wanted to know, so, right, you were targeting product-based companies after getting offers from some service-based companies. So when you started doing the preparation, as you mentioned that from the starting part, you were not that consistent. So when you started maintaining that consistency and solving questions so that we can determine how long it took to you. Yes. So as I said, in my case, like uh, I cleared that this program within Infosys. So that also includes a uh, programming like online assessment. And then we had to appear for a face to face problem solving exam. So there are also like practice a lot uh, to clear that exam. But uh, after that, like after clearing that, I involved in some internal trainings and all. So that's why I was not able to continue that practice. But when I started looking uh, for um, opportunities outside in courses, uh, so then I started uh, I think continuity and consistency. So I started from, to be exact, I think 31st of December I started. And then I maintained like at least even uh, in worst case, I had to solve one problem on lead code. So that's the worst case. And if I get more time on weekends, then I'll be able to solve more problems. So that's the preparation strategy I followed. And I suggest to everyone, if you just, if you maintain the consistency, then your mind will be in running state. So then you'll be able to solve even if you get a new question. And sometimes it happens if you won't practice daily, then even a very easy question, you won't get the solution at that point in your in, in interview. So practicing daily is most important. Yeah, right. Obviously it is. So yeah. I think we have pretty much discussed everything that was there and that is important for the audience to know. Uh, but before wrapping up the video, I would like to know if you are having any advice for the audience that is watching and for the students even. So, yeah. Yeah, so one advice I can say is like, if you really want to enjoy the software engineering, then start coding. <laughs> okay, then so you want to like do practice on daily basis, because even like come, uh, most of the people say why these big firms are looking for this problem solving and DSA skill. Because that's the key, actually. If you are able to solve any problem uh, using your DSA skill, 
then you'll then only you'll be able to resolve or solve any real world problem and that's the duty of software engineer any software engineer then whatever what we are doing like we are solving real world problems yeah. and in computer like to code uh, then that computer understands only data structures and whatever the language we are typing mm -hmm. so there we need to thorough with that and yeah like obviously software engineering skills are obviously important but without dsa proper dsa i can say at some point do, uh, that skills are useless okay so that's the one advice and second advice is like if you will be able to maintain the discipline some kind of discipline you need to maintain i'm not saying like wake up early at 4 a.m and all but yeah if you are waking up at 8 then try to work on yourself at night so you have to be Discipline in some way, discipline in some way. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah these are the two advice. Yeah. yeah. Very helpful advice it is. Obviously, the last one was uh, that was very helpful, and I do agree with the same. So, again, thanks a lot, Ankit, for inviting my uh, invitation and sharing your valuable interview experience. And let me tell you guys, he has recently joined uh, Walmart. So, congratulations for your new journey. Um, thanks a lot, and have a great future ahead. Yeah, yeah, and you can put my ID, LinkedIn ID, in the description. So if anyone wants, they can directly contact me. Sure, sure. Uh, so guys, the LinkedIn ID of Ankit is there in the description. So make sure to reach out to him in case you are having any doubt or confusion. So yeah, Ankit, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Ankit.